what do you think in general about the, all the exciting advancements of uh, transformer uh, neural networks, most beautifully uh, illustrated through the large language models like GPT-4? Like everybody else, we're all, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised at uh, uh, how much, uh, how far they've come. Um, I'm a little bit nervous about the, there's anxiety around them, obviously, mm -hmm. for I think good reasons, right? Uh, disinformation is a, a curse that's a, an unintended consequence of social media that could be exacerbated um, with these tools. And so if you use them to deploy disinformation, it could be a real risk. Um, but I also think that the risks associated with these kinds of models don't have a whole lot to do with the way we're gonna use them in our robots. If I'm using a robot, I'm building a robot to do you know, a, a manual task of some sort. Um, I can judge very easily, is it doing the task I asked it to? Is it doing it correctly? There's sort of a, a built-in mechanism for judging, is, that, is it doing the right thing? Did it yeah. successfully do the task? Yeah, physical reality is a good verifier. It's a good verifier, that's yeah. exactly it. And whereas if you're asking for, yeah, I don't know, you're trying to ask a, a theoretical question in chat GPT, it could be true or it may not be true. And, and it's hard to have that verifier. What, what is that truth <laughs> that you're comparing against? Whereas in physical reality, you know the truth. And this is an important difference. And um, so I'm not, I think there is reason to be a little bit concerned about, um, you know, how these tools, uh, large language models could be used, but I'm not very worried about how they're gonna be used. Well, how learning algorithms in general are going to be used on, on robotics. It's, it's really a different application that has different ways of verifying what's going on. Well, the nice thing about language models is that um, I ultimately see, I'm really excited about the possibility of having conversations with Spot. Yeah. Uh, there's no, I would say negative consequences to that, but just increasing the bandwidth and the variety of ways you can communicate with this uh, particular robot. Yeah. Uh, so you could communicate visually, you can communicate through some interface and to be able to communicate verbally again with the beer and so on. Um, I think that's really exciting to make that much, much easier. We have a, this partner, Levitas, that's adding um, the vision algorithms for gauge reading for us. They just, just this week, I saw a demo where they hooked up, you know, um, a language tool to Spot and they're talking to Spot to give it commands. Yeah, it. yeah. Can you tell me about the Boston Dynamics AI Institute? What is it and what is its mission? So it's a separate organization. Uh, the Boston Dynamics Artificial Intelligence Institute. Uh, it's led by Mark Rabert, the founder of Boston Dynamics and the former CEO, and my old advisor at MIT. Mm -hmm. Mark has always uh, loved the, re the research, the mm -hmm. pure research, without the confinement or demands of commercialization. Mm -hmm. And uh, he wanted to continue to you know, pursue that unadulterated research. And uh, uh, so uh, suggested to, to Hyundai that, that he set up this institute and they agree that it's worth additional investment to kind of continue push, pushing this forefront. And uh, we expect to be working together where you know, Boston Dynamics is going to both commercialize and do research. But the sort of time horizon of the research we're going to do is you know, in the next let's say five years, you know, what can we do in the next five years? Let's work on those problems. And I think the goal of the AI Institute is to work even further out. Um, certainly, you know, the analogy of, of legged locomotion again, when we started that, that was a multi-decade problem. Mm -hmm. And and so I think Mark wants to have the freedom uh, to pursue really hard over the horizon problems. And that's that'll be the goal of the Institute. 